Check it out, 72 hearts on the front screen. Very nice. Welcome back to Let's Play Warrior of the Lost World. Last time we got our awesome rewards for getting all those secret keys, and now it's time to get our rewards for completing the Triforce. Though, there is some work that is needed to be done to get our rewards from the Triforce. So let's do that now. Help! My brother's gone! Monzo, stop him! There are switches under the water which will burn him! You'll know where because the water will be flashing green! So the first one I think is this one. If you wait long enough, the switches will, uh... The flashing switches will eventually die out and the one where the switch is will be the only one left flashing, so... Uh, I think it's top left? No. Bottom left. So really be careful of the spikes. Don't do what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, I remember it was that one. This one is the one all the way at the end, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Don't worry about the fireballs. All right, I'm there. Did it. And we get... Thanks a lot. Take this to find a great item I've hidden in the lake. And we get the level two power br bracelet. Alright, so let's go back to the overworld. And if we look on the map here, we've pretty much gone everywhere in the overworld, except for that screen right there, so let's go there. Where is it? Okay, two more to the right. Out. Here we have an evil looking screen. There we go. Welcome to the gauntlet. If you're not ready, then leave. More Pantera. Awesome. This should be pretty easy with all my awesome equipment here. Maybe I should have uh, challenged this with the... Maybe not challenged, but just attempted it with the... Red Ring and Magical Sword instead of the Gold Ring and the Ma Master Sword. This might be a little bit too easy. Let's get out the Golden Arrows. These things will take care of pretty much anything. Except for Dark Nuts, Whiz Robes, things like that. Ah. Okay, let's get out the fire boomerang. Ah, I guess it's easy enough, really. <laughs> I mean, this isn't even close to the biggest challenge in this quest. That would definitely be Napolitan Ice Cream. I mean, that place is just evil. Okay, whatever. Dig doggers. Oh, those bubbles prevent you from using your items, I see. Ugh. Stay away, Bubbles! Go away! Okay, one down. Two down. Three down, and one to go. Come here, you. Alright, so we just have a whole bunch of, uh, Gleox here. Might as well just rush them, I mean. No point in playing it safe, really. And a bunch of manhandlers.
and like likes. I don't really care if these guys swallow me because they can't take my my uh, mirror shield. I keep getting mirror shield and magical shield confused. Oh well. Wind robes, no! Oh come on, that's not fair. Oh, well at least a lot of these guys will be gone. Especially in rooms with bubbles. Oh, that's so disappointing. I'll make quick work of these guys. Now I'm pissed off. And any of the boss enemies like Manhandle as Gleox will be dead. So I just gotta skip those screens, yay! See, I'm back to the like likes. Okay. No mercy this time, you lousy whiz robes. Lousy wind robes. Alright. Okay, yeah. Um. Missed him. Got that one. One more. Ah, oh, come on. Appear in the middle of the screen. There we go. That's perfect. No! Let's bring out a uh, Din's fire. Show you that how that can work. If the screen gets too filled with bats. Ah, uh, there he is. Die. Ooh, heart. Okay, so let's use this. Die, bats. Ha 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 ha. Stand no chance. And I got rid of the magical locked rock right away. And a Patra with a bunch of armors. Wow, is this ever gonna end? I didn't remember making this that long. Jeez. Fire Gleox mixed in with regular Gleox. Great. And we get the magical boots. <clears throat> and I'll show you. Let's just go back to the sewers for a second. Oh, you jerks! I hate you! Stupid Zoras. All right, back to the sewers. We can get another uh, bait from there. Might as well just get it for no reason. No, okay, we have to go this way. Back through the snowy town and up the mountain. Might as well just do this or else this will be a 10 minute episode. Add a little uh, length to the final episode here. Because we've pretty much done everything in this quest. Well, I'll show you what the magical boots will do at least. If you uh, got the Triforce, got them before going to the castle and the eyesore sewers, you'll see how easy it'll be. Okay, so let's just go down the stairs, and with the magical boots, you can walk through this toxic waste stuff. You can walk through the lava in uh, Scalding Coffee as well. And here we have a level 2 Patra. 
Nothing too difficult with the gold ring and ma master sword. Ma 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 master sword. And we get another bait. Hooray! I'm gonna skip those stairs for now. And go up here. And we'll go to my favorite room in the quest. That's my excuse why I'm going there, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Won't take too long. All right. Golden arrows for the win. And it's just up here. I sing, I sing, I sing whenever I sing. I sing whenever I sing whenever I sing. <laughs> that was from a Mystery Science Theater 3000 episode. Uh, the giant Gila monster, I think. And, uh, yeah, it, in a part of the movie, the guy was, uh, using a hammer and, uh, singing some stupid song like that, so, uh, in subsequent movies for the next couple of seasons or so, um, they would sing that song, like, they would sing, I sing, I sing, I sing, whenever I sing, whenever someone was using a hammer in a movie. That's all that that signifies, nothing important really. Just some stupid Mystery Science Theater 3000 reference. And since we have everything, we have the hammer from the final boss, we can just go finish the game right now, which is what I intend to do. It's hammer time, baby. we go and we just pound these go up here and game over link you're such a douchebag thanks zelda Oh well, it's a living. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Some thanks I get for, uh... Well, I didn't really save you. I just saved myself? I don't know. Saved myself a five-foot climb or something? I don't know. I mean, those, those posts don't look very high, especially if you can hammer them in. I mean, you should be able to climb over them, no problem. That was just my idea of making a really ridiculous sort of premise of a story. Oh, I can't jump over these three foot pe these three foot posts. Let me go get a hammer, and you embark on some wild, amazing journey through the Lost World. Well, that's it for Let's Play Warrior of the Lost World. I hope you enjoyed this, and stay tuned later when I start uploading uh, my next Zelda classic quest, Ganonko Two: Work Is Death. So see you next time.